Hi, everyone. Welcome. My name is Heather Havenwood, and welcome to another version of Like a Boss, insights with influencers, entrepreneurs, and badasses like you. And today I have someone who's a badass. Let's see, I can never tell on my video but that way. That way. Uh, Brian Richards. Brian, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Thanks for having me, Heather. Woo! It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, what's cool about Brian, which is kind of odd usually in my stint with all the to the podcast interviews i have actually met brian we met and hugged it out i actually met i actually met his team and his pride we're going to talk about today um at south by southwest in 2019 yay it was super awesome it's great to meet you by the way yeah same here pleasure and, with and she he's actually going to be back in austin soon for paleo fx in 2019 um so i'm super excited to see you again here soon so that's kind of fun Okay, so I kind of want to dive in a little bit about who you are, and I love your product. And I honestly, if I had just met you online or seen the product on a website, I don't think I would have been like really understanding how powerful it was. But I, I loved it when I, I walked into your booth. Do you remember this? I walked into your booth yeah. and you literally were like, get in. <laughs> just get in one and I'm like what and he's like these little tents and we you and I sat in there together and we talked it was super awesome I'm sweating you're sweating <laughs> I was like this is great so I love that you did that you just like don't even talk about it experience it um then we could talk about what in the heck you just you know did right so let me tell people who you are so brian fully healed his toxic related acne brain fog adrenal fatigue and and more with the power of in what do you how do you say that in incandescent incandescent sauna. sauna therapy all right great full spectrum near infrared light and heat therapy his personal journey to optimal health inspired him to create sauna spaces it can't even say it in in incandescent like an incandescent light bulb Okay. Into, yeah. Sorry. Look, here's the thing. Right. <laughs> yeah. Sana. So everyone knows, right. I don't speak very well. I didn't talk from age zero to seven. So there's a lot of words I don't do very well. So there you go. In order to help others discover the pathway to natural healing, which now, which now includes the world's first Faraday cage EMF blocking sauna. Okay. So there was a lot of big words there. Everyone knows that, like I said, I have, there's few words I can't pronounce. So there you go. I can't pronounce in condensant i can't even say there you go all right so let's talk about what exactly is like what actually is a sauna space uh, so what we do here at sauna space is uh we make saunas so you sit in a sauna you sweat for detox for longevity for a quite a, a wide array of well-documented benefits to you know all, all all aspects of your health yeah um, but we use a totally different technology here. We use an incandescent light bulb. Uh, hmm. If you don't like that word, it could also be called the old school light bulb. It's the I, I like I do that old school light bulb. I can say that. I don't like the word. I just can't pronounce the word. So it's yeah, an old so school it's, light bulb. It's, okay. uh, it's actually man-made's oldest electrical light technology. Mm. And why that what? one? Because well, nowadays there's all this technology with new light bulbs. Why that one? Well, it has to do with... Uh, you know, we have a lot of technology nowadays that makes yeah. improves our quality of life, makes things better in our life, right? But biologically, and for, in terms of health and wellness, we still need what we got 10,000 years ago and a million years ago. It's the ancestral, the natural context is, is how we heal the body. And it's, uh, we want light that mimics the natural light, the light of nature. And that's what incandescent light is. If you look at uh, what source of incandescent light we had before these old school light bulbs, it was the sun. Mm -hmm. and the fireplace and the candles. So these are ancient forms of light and it's, a, it's, it's, what natural, it's what could be called natural light or analog light. It's what we're designed to get. And so the reason we use it in our sauna is because number one, it's a better way to heat the body. It's more efficient. It's this penetrating radiant heat. So we have a little more efficient hot box sauna session. And, uh, um, and separately, although certainly synergistically, there's this idea of light therapy. Are we, we're light eaters, so our cells eat light. And there's some argument that much, if not a majority of our energy ought to come from sunlight and not from our food. And so you, you, get, you can dive deep into the, the cellular science. We have these little things called mitochondria. It's in every cell of our body. Most people think of it as a, you know, like a power plant or a little battery cell in the, in the cell. Mm -hmm. But it, in fact, is a light-absorbing uh, um, um, body it has these little light resorber proteins and when they absorb special wavelengths of light called near infrared and also yeah. red visible light 
you activate uh, light therapy systems, regenerative systems, anti-aging, inflammatory, reducing systems, and again, in every cell of the body. So we have, uh, we have a way to holistically improve the health of the body. The body is made of trillions of cells. Yeah. Every cell has to work right. All the proteins, all the enzymes, everything needs to be optimal for us, the organism, to have optimal wellness. Interesting. So let's talk about, I mean, it's pretty powerful stuff, but let's talk about um, our today and age. And you and I have talked about this before. We talked about when I first met you about this thing called a cell phone, right? We all have them. We're all around them. Computers right now, I'm around three computers and we're always around some kind of electronic device. So I love your pragmatic approach. Like it's not going away. Like none of this is going away. We can't live in a cave. You know what I mean? So one of the things you shared with me is that this is one of the reasons why you create the sauna and the whole company around it. You know, what can we do about that? You know, what can people who, like myself and most everybody's around technology all the time, how can the saunas help that process? What help, help, what, what's there? Well, if, if we live in modernity, if we live in civilization in a yeah. city with cell, you know, cell phones is emblematic of, of modern life. It's a, this, all this technology is a double edged sword. So all the cell phones bring microwave stress. It's a it's called EMF stress. It's a type of, it's a nervous stress. It's another environmental stress that damages us, damages our bodies. And uh, it's really uh, more than a chemical stress, like chemicals in the food. You can't escape a, a man-made electromagnetic stress. Where, where do you, where can you go where you don't get a cell phone signal nowadays? It's, uh, you know. It's I don't, just, like I'm just thinking about my, I mean, I don't have TV in my bedroom and things like that but I do have a small little iPhone that I play music on. I'm just thinking about like, where is in my house doesn't have anything. And it's pretty well, much. Yeah. And, and, and don't think that you're any safer because you don't have your phone on you. Um, anywhere you can answer a cell phone. The reason you can answer the cell phone is because there's a signal from the tower that's penetrating in your bedroom and into your brain uh, and, and everywhere you go 24 hours a day. So, you know, we can talk about biologically how it affects the body, but, Suffice it to say right now that it is another environmental stress and it's a pervasive 24 hour thing. And down there, uh, you're based in Austin, Heather, they've been testing 5G cell technology for a while yeah. now. I think it yeah. rolls out officially this year. Um, in so fact, yesterday at the gym, um, I noticed on my cell phone, I'm looking up, it's there right now, it's not there right now, it had 5G next to it. And I just saw that yeah. this time this week and I kind of looked at like, What's that? I haven't looked at it. So I guess. But yeah, that, that, that's, that's an indication that it's coming. You know, we don't really have 5G enabled devices, but they've kind of upgraded the 4G to transition to 5G. And yeah, uh, yeah by, you know, a year from now, you'll, the new versions of phones will be 5G enabled, which is higher wattages of the current 4G LTE wavelengths. The, it's like 800 megahertz to 2 gigahertz. And then yeah. introduction of these like, uh, it just a ton of higher frequency bands all the way up to 70 gigahertz. Um, so we're talking about billions and billions and billions times more microwave stress mm -hmm. in the world yeah. than existed a hundred years ago. So, and, and there's no question that there is a physiological effect on us. So, but what do you do? Um, you, there are certain places you can go to escape it, but I don't want to do that. I want to be, you know, I don't, I want to be here in society doing good works and, and, um, you know, having a positive influence on the world. So I'm in, right in the middle of the microwave stress, just like everybody else. Uh, we have Wi-Fi at the shop. I, I, it's, you know, it's not in the office, but it's out there in the shop. I constantly have to talk on my phone. Um, so I, I don't think we should uh, be Malthusian about it or, or say, well, we're just stuck with this, this terrible influence and we're slowly going to, you know, be sicker and sicker and die yeah. from it one day. We can actually take steps to mitigate it. So there are simple things you can do, like turn your phone into airplane mode when you go to bed, turn your Wi-Fi off at night because you don't need internet connection when you're sleeping, right? Uh, you know, s simple ways to mitigate, but I think that those are those fall far short of of doing what's really needed, and that's that's to repair and regenerate and heal from the damage we receive from the environment, including EMF stress, chemical stress. And just the stress, if you're in the stress mode, it's called fight or flight, sympathetic dominance. The nervous system is geared towards responding to the, you know, the tiger in the room. And our bodies are not designed to be in that. The human body is designed to be in this fight or flight state a very small percentage of the day. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, you're supposed to be in the rest and digest state, yeah. which is what all in high school. But it's, it should also be called rest, digest, and heal. And it's a, it's a 
big part of how we regenerate and, and repair and restore from the stress of life. And, and modern life has more environmental stress than, than ancestral humans ever had, more chemical, all this EMF stuff that we've never had before, combined with really, uh, we're, we're, we're kind of malnourished, you know, our food's not as nutrifying as it used to be. And our lifestyles are so messed up, you know, on, on average, we, we don't have ancestral okay, so, experience with light. So, okay. So hold on. If you, if you don't stop, I'm going to like slip my throat. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm seriously like my energy just went from like a 10 to a two. We can't do that to people. Okay. So what's the solution? So let's talk about your saunas, right? So let's describe them for people so they can visualize. I'm, I'm going to do it for you, okay? So think of it like a little uh, tent, the white tent that you sit in because it was like small enough. I had to like bend down and we were sitting on like a tiny little stool. And then you also used to you sit in them, which is really cool. I would do like a meditation and they're really only big enough for one person basically that's my experience anyway. And you have different levels and high and high and low. And I'm going to have you share with that. But my experience was when I walked into one and sat in it, it was like, oh, this felt like really warm. I kind of felt like I was walking back into the womb. That's my experience. Like I was walking back into the womb and like, of course, you're like, don't take your cell phone in. You're not allowed. And, you know, mm -hmm. I had to leave it outside and all that. Um, and so I, I love the experience. I really felt like I was in the womb. I started to sweat. I love sweating. I love going to Bikram yogas and yoga. That's hot. I love hot yoga. Like I think it's like, why do anything else? So let's talk about the actual sauna. What actually is it doing? What, what's, what does your sauna do? So it is a sauna. It's a, like you said, it's a pop-up kind of a traveling Bedouin tent looking sauna. It's about five feet tall. You sit in front of these light therapy lamps. They heat your body up to sweat. And they also stimulate these light therapy systems in our mitochondria. So it's doing two therapies in one. And I would argue a third therapy as well. The saunas you got to try there are, are kind of our upgraded Faraday sauna. It has a stainless steel layer to it all the way around and it's grounded. So you sit inside, you get the earthing grounding benefits, which is a discharge of voltage from the body. Another way we're kind of cleaning the junk out of our body from, a le from an electrical perspective almost. And uh, you get this protection. So you're in an escape. You're, it's really the part of the reason it feels so embryonic inside is so back to nature is is the heat it is the light but it's also for the first time ever you don't have the the emf stress on your body the cell phone signal the voltage stress from electricity and these are just little micro things that are just kind of keep you on edge keep you in a stress state where you don't feel as good and so it's like a it's an escape it's a rush it's a relief in there and all of those combine for this really unique experience that uh, you really feel more present than you've ever felt. It's the most perfect environment in which to meditate and heal. Uh, you know, you can't heal optimally if you are have stress on your body, like you wouldn't meditate in a polluted space, right? Well, you also, um, you know, you got to think of the microwave stress in there. It's like an electro smog. You don't see it, yeah. but it's there slowly poisoning you. And you need to remove that element if you're going to have, you know, an optimal healing rejuvenative experience. Got it. Okay. So you sit in it for how long? You sit in it for uh, uh, 20 to 30 minutes. You yeah. may preheat, you may not. Every five minutes or so you rotate in front of the lamps about a quarter turn. You're kind of dosing your light therapy like that. Nice. Um, so it's, it's, it is it's really fun in that way. And it also, it's also heats up your body more vigorously. It is mm -hmm. seated for safety so you don't pass out, but you can sit on the floor. Some people like to drop the light panel down and kind of sit in the yoga pose on the floor. Uh, for those who need a chair, we we supply with a really um, a really comfortable, beautiful stool. Some people need a chair with a backrest. You can just put a chair in there. You can just wheel your wheelchair in there if you need to. So it's, it's very accessible. But basically, sit in there and rotate kind of like a chicken for 20 minutes, and you get out, and <laughs> you're that. sweaty, and you feel amazing, and you get in the shower and you scrub off with a bristle brush for a lymphatic response, and nice. And that's it, and and you're. You're, you're, you've done your maintenance, you know, you've, you've detoxed, you've repaired your proteins, you've, um, you know, you, you've got your little your longevity dose for the day and, and that's how we keep ourselves happy. So that's, that's the pragmatic solution is, hey, we've got all this stress, we, got, we can't avoid it, we can minimize it, but we can't avoid it. So we really need to have a daily ritual of recovery. Yeah, a daily ritual, that's true. So let's talk about some of this, I guess would say, um, symptoms people have 
um, situations, uh, with diseases, I don't know, that they have used this particular therapy and have seen major results. Yeah, well, there's, there's two ways to talk about it. One is to look at the literature. Um, if you look about photobiomodulation, also yeah. another word for light therapy, there are three or 4,000 studies. Uh, since this is healing the cells at the, at the cellular level and it's, um, it affects all cells of the body, basically, it's, uh, it's, it's being shown as a vehicle and a therapy for, uh, for, for recovery of all things, uh, damage in the nerves, damage in the kidneys, damage in, in whatever, you name it, the skin, skin issues, um, 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 intestinal issues, and so forth and so on. The only, penet- the only wavelengths of light that have been shown to penetrate bone tissue are near infrared. This is the oh, wow. deepest penetrating light, and you have these little mitochondria in the bone cells too. So, uh, so clinically, it's there's a lot there's a lot of strong evidence for it from just the light therapy stuff, and then the heat therapy as well. Sauna might be one of the most widely studied uh, kind of alternative therapies out there uh, clinically. You know, the the most amazing study is a 20 year Finnish human study where the guys using sauna more every day, you know, had dramatically living dramatically longer diet lives, dramatically reduced heart, heart disease and, and risk of heart attack. Um, it's really stunning actually. And the more we look into the sauna therapy, we see that it's not just detox. Those who are kind of in the know, know that sauna is much more than relaxation. It's all about detox, right? It's, it's the best way to detox, the most effective way, but that's really only scratching the surface. There's a secondary, role of these heat shock proteins in the body and that's the refold proteins and you have proteins in all cells of your body and they're the little kind of worker bees in your yeah. cells mm-hmm. most people have uh 20 to 30 of the proteins in their body are misfolded so they're not working right for example uh proteins on the insulin receptor tail on the cell if this is misfolded we get insulin resistance and that leads to metabolic disorder and, and it's strongly linked to obesity everybody has some kind of insulin resistance issue it seems like nowadays well, what do you do about that um, if the proteins are, are not folded right? If you've ever seen a protein on the computer, it looks like a big watered up piece of paper with a bunch yeah. of ribbons kind of coming out of it. Super complex um, molecular bodies that are, um, if they're not, if they have one wrong fold, they may not work right. And so heat therapy can actually fix those. And so we have sauna studies now that are, 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 showing decreasing insulin resistance, improving insulin signaling. So, and we're seeing amazing results in, uh, you know, uh, and people who have insulin resistance and people who have neuropathic diseases as well, like fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, some really serious stuff that conventional medicine, conventional solutions don't really work well for. They're usually right. doing pain management prescriptions or they're, they're symptom masking. And here we have a, such a simple way to address all of these things and rebuild the cells, re, literally re-sculpt the cells and the, and the tissues of the body from the inside out intelligently uh, at a very low risk and, uh, and do these, all these other benefits too that we, d- we talked about before, detoxing and anti-aging with light therapy. So all this stuff is going on in the science, right? The science, and, right, yeah. And but so I mean- what about the product? So of course, I don't make any medical, medical claim to, to, to anything. Um, I sell a product that probably 10,000 people use now. It's, it's actually, like I said before, it's the, actually the original electric sauna. It was originally invented by Dr. Kellogg, the Kellogg's cornflakes guy. Yeah. Um, you know, he, <laughs> he had a lot of, hold on, hold on, hold on. I get to, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, I get to interrupt you. It's my show. Uh, so the Kellogg's guy, what do you mean by that? Did he actually like invent this, the, the Kellogg's guy? Yeah, so like, the Kel- they call him the cornflakes guy because you know they invented cornflakes to to lower male libido when that was a pro- it was considered to be a societal problem a hundred years ago. Now, of course, they've achieved that goal. <laughs> we have the opposite problem. Okay, wait, hold on. I have never heard that, and I was in the libido business for many years. Say that again. Uh, well, a hundred years ago, we're talking the eighteen nineties, nineteen hundreds, yeah, you know, nineteen ten. Uh, overactive male libido was considered to be a societal problem. And it was thought that if you fed adult males, this bland, like tasteless food, cornflakes, that it would lower the male libido and, and uh, you kind of address the problem. Well, that they fixed that. That's for sure. It's definitely lower than it has been in, you know, decades. it's really sad. Uh, so, really? so that's kind of what he's famous for, but he also had these spas in okay. the early 1900s where you could go and you could do all these crazy, therapy some were kind of 
maybe a little kooky, but some were really avant-garde, like light therapy. And so he, he invented in 1893, right after the light bulbs were invented, or 1891, he said, hey, let's use these light bulbs in a sauna and we'll like a sauna and we'll cure people of their maladies. And you can see these big Victorian cabinets in his book. He wrote a book called Phototherapeutics in 1910. So yeah, this was literally invented in 1891, uh, right at the beginning of electricity and the light bulb. And um, so and why hasn't some- it been more prominent in the medical community? What would you say? Why, you know, why, why did it not make more of a, what I call prominent role? Cause it didn't really, I mean, you, well, there, it, this is a complex question. I think that it has yeah. to do with the rise of, of the American Medical Association and also the approach. Doctors used to, before the 1940s and 50s, they used to do a lot of testing on the body and they kind of shifted to a pharmaceutical model, yeah. a pharmacological model uh, in the 30s or 40s and used to have cancer, natural alternative healing cancer spas in the US uh, up until the 30s or 40s. You also had chiropractics was basically obliterated in the forties and then it kind of came back and now people accept chiropractic. It's very legitimate, but there was a time where there were, there were no chiropractic offerings. So there was a lot of this, a lot of these exciting therapies were, um, were, 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 were squashed, were, were kind of hidden and, or, or were uh, marginalized and made taboo and, um, and medical doctors stopped using them and, and then society did as well, but it's come back. I mean, you can look at Arthur Dinshaw, uh, this crazy Indian scientist, doctor guy from the 20s. He did a lot of seminal work in, with light therapy. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Kellogg was using it for saunas. You know, the, the, they use blue light for the babies. You know, that's an example of light therapy. Yeah. So yeah. there are a few examples in, in modern medical practice that use it, but not much. Although right. uh, you used to use like what I have here is a, it's kind of a spot therapy product for the office or yeah. for the home. Um, you know, you can use it for targeted use. This was a chiropractic, this was taught in chiropractic school curricula uh, up until maybe 20, 30 years ago. Yeah, I mean, I definitely, with the chiropractic, I come from that world and I definitely believe in the chiropractic. Do you find that you're selling a lot to the chiropractic community? Uh, we're, we're primarily selling just to the public at large. It seems like because this appears, you know, from the customer reports and, and the yeah. science appears to mm-hmm. just be a general kind of heal all, kind of uh, addressing everything you know, people are using it everywhere. Yeah. We have some, some, uh, all chiropractors and doctors and stuff who have in their office now and they, they showcase it and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, but, uh, it just depends if you're, if they're alternative minded, yeah, they're interested in I, mostly people who are interested in, in results and solutions that work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, th- this is it. And they're, they're very attracted to this. It's a very safe way to go about addressing these things. And, if you talk about consumer logic, you talk about cell phones, right? People spend so much time thinking about, you know, what type of phone am I buying? What case right. am I buying, right? Like reading all the reviews on Amazon and uh, using this, what's called a cost benefit analysis. Mm-hmm. But then with our, our health, our products and services for our health, we suspend that logic and we typically do follow what the medical doctor uh, says or offers, but that's really just one option. There's other options out there. And I would say our options are, are higher benefit and lower risk. So it's a better value. Um, but it does take more discipline. And that's the discipline of nature and the discipline of the natural context. You got to get in and, and sit in the sauna. For right, I guess in the sauna. Yeah. I did the sauna at the gym, right? That's not the same, obviously. Um, and I don't take my cell phone. And it drives me crazy when people bring their cell phone into the sauna. It's like, hello, that's what we're trying to do is get away from it. Or I do yoga, hot yoga, and there's a big sign that says no cell phones in the room. And yet people like leave their, they bring their phones in and they're texting or they actually are texting on their um, Apple watch, you know, you know, guys, get away from it. Get away from the phone for just a little bit. I think, I think it's really important that people understand that, that we're in a definitely different society right now and that we do have phones and it's a pragmatic approach. Where they're not going away, but you can be more cognizant of it. Like I, I made that decision a long time ago. I don't have it in my, in my bedroom. I have no TV in my bedroom. I have um, some, um, actually some lights that are kind of with some healing, um, 
what do you call that? There's some stones and things like that, that I, that I light up, but that's it. Like there is no other kinds of devices. Like I said, that little iPhone bites to take it out that listen to something like that. I think that upon, honestly, one of the challenges people have today is not realizing the stress of the impact of our environment today, you know? And so what do you, what have you found in your research? That's, that's one of the biggest symptoms of, I would say, high stress environment with electronics? I, I think, again, I relate it to myself. The reason I started Sauna Space was because of my own health problems. There's a lot of adrenal fatigue. I think so many people deal with this nowadays and the symptoms are, you know, all these different things that happen, but people don't sleep well. They wake up, the low energy. Uh, when they get sick, it takes them a while, you know, longer than it should to recover. You get sick often, you know, I'm talking about colds and, and snotty nose and sniffles um, and, and uh, as well as things like brain fog, which are kind of hard to diagnose Yeah. Uh, from externally and internally. Like if you're foggy, how do you know? And people make, you know, pe people make our, you know, selfish, foolish decisions all the time. And in and, and part, you can, you want people to take power over their lives and take responsibility, but you also need to have compassion. If you're so foggy and your brain's not working, well, you're hard to make the, the best decision in every scenario. Yeah. It, the, the brain fog is a big one. I know coming from biodynamical um, hormone perspective where I used to sell bi biodynamical hormones, that's a big one for men. Uh, that's a, that's a, what an indicator, brain fog for low T. Um, mm -hmm. I had no idea that Mr. Kellogg was creating an issue with that. That is literally the first time I've heard that, Brian, ever. I've yeah, you can. I mean, you can read, uh, look it up in, in his history. He has a. That's a whole other podcast, you know. Yeah, for sure. Well, I, I find it fascinating because I people say, "Oh, well, after forty, you know, low T." I'm like, "Oh no, not anymore." Like thirty, low at thirty, I've seen men with extremely low T at thirty. You know, not not forty, like twenty eight. You know, it's because of the environment. Um, so, okay, so the sauna, what, when you, what were the symptoms you were having that kind of brought you in this journey? I, I, had, I didn't know what it was adrenal fatigue. This, the symptoms I had was ins were insomnia, mind racing, brain fog, um, low energy, kind of a negative mood, uh, even though, um, you know, I'm usually a, a peppy guy, but... Uh, you are a peppy also, guy. <laughs> um, I also had acne on my torso. It was really odd it was kind of clustered around my kidneys so if you met me in the street with my shirt on you'd be like what's your problem man get over it but I didn't feel good and this was at the end of my college uh stints I, I got out I had some degrees and uh, I was supposed to be proud of myself but I didn't feel good inside and I was really still I'm still young but I was very young and it didn't make you're sense to me. You're still young, Brian, just so you know. <laughs> if you're not seeing him in video, you're still very young for being a very smart, intelligent businessman. You're, very, you're still very young. Just Thank you. Your well, I, I've definitely focused on taking care of myself now. Yeah, uh, and yeah. and when, you, when, you, when you're clean, you can help others better. So, um, but yeah, I, I wasn't back then. And, and I, so I, I did my Google research basically online, like everybody else does. It's like, well, what could it be? And because I didn't want to take Accutane and other these other mm -hmm. weird chemical things that yeah. the doctors recommended, that's just right. one example of like this horrendous drug that that has all these problems with it. And um, and so my research kept leading me back to sauna and detox and the idea that there's these toxins and from the environment in the body and they're disrupting optimal functioning, if not just leading to disease and causing problems. So especially with the symptoms, I was like, oh, sauna. Every human culture has a sauna tradition of some kind. Hey, this yeah. makes sense, both logically and also, you know, traditionally. There's yeah. a tradition there that's strong. So, yeah. uh, and, then, and then I stumbled in the course of that research onto Dr. Kellogg's incandescent, he called it the, electri uh, the incandescent electric bath. And, interesting. Uh, and Isn't that fascinating? So that is so fascinating to me. Here's this guy that basically was trying to lower the libido of men. And here we are, was at a hundred years later, <clears throat> something like that. Um, then, he, you know, success, right? <laughs> success. And now there's all these other issues because of that. Just fascinating. Yeah. Well, you know, you got to give him some respect. He was an old school doctor. He was losing, l looking for solutions. He was a healer, mm -hmm. uh, but that was one of the things that, 
Yeah. Oh no, just- he's a great. I mean, he's a great doctor. He succeeded. I mean, that's. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like the intentionality of of something, and he succeeded. I give him massive respect. But now we're dealing with the opposite. It's just that that swing kind of thing. I think we're we want technology, and now we're dealing with the swing of the technology, and we want self driving cars, and we'll have to deal with the you know the stuff of that too. I think that's part of the human intentionality. We desire, we create, and then like things go far, go too far mm-hmm. on one direction, whatever that is, it can be politically, whatever. And then we had to like deal with the swing and kind of coming back. So he's successful. Yeah, I agree with you. You know, the, the march of technology uh, goes on and it's very rare that any health considerations are made when we invent yeah. or come out with something like new energy efficient fluorescent light bulbs, which have mercury vapor in them, which is super toxic, right? Or LEDs with their flicker stress and their blue light wavelengths, um, we, we, they didn't just make it, a, they made it a little bit more energy efficient from an electric key, electricity perspective, but they also took out all the healing wavelengths. The incandescent mm-hmm. light bulb has healing wavelengths. It's, uh, and there was no consideration of that. There was just an obsession over using a little bit less wattage, you know, electrical yeah. power and some cost savings there, but at what cost to our health? Yeah, I, I, get, I get old school light bulbs. I got the little fashion, you know what I mean? Like I, I, go, I go old school because of that. I mean, cause it's still, it's more blue waves and it's just, my health is more important to me than saving two cents or a dollar or whatever on electric bill. I mean, you, you know, you yeah. got up in something else. Yeah, no, I, and I highly recommend you, if you can at all, use them where you're hanging out, you know, in your home, in your nightstand. Cause you have one right now. If you're seeing, could you show that again? If someone's watching. Yeah. So this is, video? this is our photon. It's a, show you a little better it's a it's one of the sauna bulbs in a protective fixture with emf shielding and stuff and so you can use it at your desk i have it on a monitor arm so it kind of it's kind of like i can move it around in my desk oh that's cool i love that yeah if you guys aren't watching you can see in the video on youtube um okay so we're almost running out of time sorry um i give your website real quick but i want to have one more question for you what's your website uh, website is sonospace.com. A lot, you did a lot of deep dives into the science there, and um, and you can email us at sales at sonospace.com. Uh, you know, if you have any questions or, or want to talk. And I love the fact that everything's manufactured here in the United States. It's here in the Midwest, and I love that. By the way, it's just like you just are really simple and meaning focused, and you know, I just love that. It's kind of a like handmade project kind of deal. I just yeah, it's pretty obsessively handmade. Even the, our new light bulbs that you saw a teaser at South by Southwest are yeah. hand blown, custom made. Like it's super, uh, super unique, all of it. Um, but it's, it's, uh, it just, that, that's my story. Basically, I, yeah. I healed my own problems. My insomnia went away within a couple sessions. The yeah. adrenal fatigue, I realized after a while, there was all these other things. I didn't know I had brain fog, but I felt clearer less irascible, more energetic, more focused, uh, just amazing, qualitatively better. And that was the inspiration for the company. And yeah, it started at my house, bootstrapped it in my bedroom and my, or my, my extra room. And I have 23 employees now. You can kind of see the floor. Yeah. The shop floor behind us. Um, uh, so it's, it's been quite a success story so far, although we have, when did it, when did you find it? When's the founding day or, or, uh, it was, it was founded in 2013, nice. but, um, oh, that's a huge success. Congrats. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, all right, everyone check Brian out. Brian Richards. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I love your story and I'll see you in a couple of weeks in, in uh, paleo FX. If you know what paleo FX is, feel free to check that out as well. Just gave them a little shout out. Um, so sauna space or spaces.com sauna space. Like, like it sounds sauna space.com. Perfect. If you, Google, I just make sure. if you just search sauna space, it'll come up. You're it. Yeah. It's really cool. I highly suggest you to check it out. I'd love to have one here right now and in, in my face. It'd be awesome because I'm staring at this, uh, probably a really bad blue light right now. It's like a huge blue light, a ring light, probably blue light. Um, so it's really bad for me to stare at this, but I, I'm going to be doing it for the next five hours. So, um, don't do what I'm doing. Do, do what I say, not what I do on this one for, for sure. So this is Brian Richard at sauna space. Go check him out. Sauna space. Dot com. Brian, again, thank you so much for being here at Like a Boss. You can check us at Like a Like a Boss um, at the radio on iHeart, Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play, as well as 17 radio stations across the country. This is Heather Havenwood. You can check us me out at heatherhavenwood.com. Thanks.